Alright, so we are going to be taking on the Chicago Cubs today for our next episode of Blue Jays Franchise. And now we're near the trade deadline and I actually have not made any trades yet here in this second season and I don't think... And we got a pretty good lead in the AL East, so I don't think there's really any reason to make a trade. If there was one player on this team I probably would consider, it would be Hinjin Ryu. Because he's 36, he's in the last year of his contract, and yeah, like he's just completely falling off. Like 10 and 4, 2.7 the last season, which was good, but now this year. Like 403, and he's 8 and 8. And this is this is the last year of his contract, so I'm thinking maybe we just keep him and then we don't re sign him. So here is a look at the lineup that we have for today's game. Alec Manoa going for win number 14. He's facing Caleb Killian, who I've never heard of. The Chicago Cubs come in at 53-50. We are 64 and 41. Hello and well. Ready to go. And All right, I so this is Killian's one. fourth Caleb start. Killian. Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. Bo Bichette leading it off for the Toronto Blue Jays here at Wrigley Field. Guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. Oh, no. And Bichette cranks this one deep. That is gone. A leadoff bomb for Bo Bichette. It's one to nothing. First of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's one nothing. Oh, you gotta love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. You know, leadoff hit. Yeah, absolutely. Bichette from the absolutely hammered that one in the left. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And that one fouled off. The real threats are coming up. Already giving up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Next one is off the play. And that's ball two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. And Vigio's going to pop this up one down. Pulls it in for the out. Now we have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. a full count on him. The punch out and there. he's going to be count caught looking strike for he knew it. Here's George Springer. One one count on Springer. Here's a one one. That one ripped left. Field. And Springer rips this to left. That is gone. Two nothing Toronto. Springer Dinger. This one with two out, that's his 18 for the year. It's 2 nothing. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, Scurriel is up. pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous That play. one's headed to left. That will be caught. We go to the bottom of the first. Shoot nothing. Blue Jays on a pair of solo homers. was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in is the speedy Nico. And we walk Nico Horner to start off. off. That's not a good start here for Alec Manoa. All right, Michael Brantley, 3-1 on him, and that is going to be caught. One way. And there's one down. Magical up. Swing and a miss. Got him. Velocity, Two down. 
And next will be the cleanup hitter. Here's Patrick Wisdom. And that one's ripped to left, and Springer's going to watch it sail out of here. It's a tie ball game. Patrick Wisdom circles the bases. It's 21st of the year, and we're level. It's 2-2. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was... Mount Castle is up, and there's a swing and a miss. We go to the second inning, game tied at two. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. 2-2 two -two game. Back here at the friendly confines, top of the second. Here's some real power at the plate. Joey Gallo, and he walked. All four. Gallo walks to start the second. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there. Here's Matt Chapman. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that score. And a base hit for Chapman. Rolls all the way to the wall there and left. Gallo's going to score all the way around from first and. Blue Jays are back in front. It is three to two. Sheesh! Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have Statcast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about diving stop at third, and Kirk is out one way. Quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. And. Wisdom is hurt. Carlos Santana. So Carlos Santana is going to be taking over at third base for the Cubs, and Danny Jansen is the batter. Next off, foul ball. And a ball and two strikes, and that's just foul. Chapman, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a line. Two down. Boba shed at the plate. A one to one. The swing and a and swing. That's gonna be caught. We go to the bottom of the second. Blue Jays three, Cubs two. This RBI double. It's now a three-two ball game. Back here at Wrigley Field, we head to the bottom of the second. That swing down, leading it off, and a base hit. That's a base hit. Jesus Sanchez, the next to hit. And Jesus Sanchez, ground ball to third. Chapman, the visual for one on the ground at first double play. Austin Hayes is up. Here comes the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Swing and miss, and we go to the third inning. And that is that. And welcome back. Here's the second base. Biggio will lead off in the top of the third. Biggio 0 for 1 in this game. And, well, it's going to stay that way because he walks. And Vladimir Guerrero at the plate. The pitch. Lined right to Santana, one down. Here's a and Springer on the drive. Deep left, that is gone. Second home run of the game for Springer, it's five to two.
you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And it's Loris Gurriel at the plate. So now one and two. Slice down the right side. Swing and a base. And that's going to be into the gap for extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And Guriel is in the second base. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but... You'll take that swing and that result. All right, Gallo walked his first Joey plate Gallo here. Steps to the plate. And it is two and one. Man at second. Swing and a high fly ball. Fly ball headed to right field. That is gone. Joey Gallo. 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 And it's seven to two. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this event. And that's going to do it for Chicago's starter. Alec Mills will enter. Has a pitch in the last three days. Here's Matt Chapman. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Still only one out here in the inning. In the air, out towards left center. Brand two down. That's out number two. Next is the designated hitter, Alejandro Kirk. Grounded out his first time. Line Base hit for Alejandro Kirk. Kirk. Makes the turn and heads for second. In there safely. Just gets in with a double. Nicely, he put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Danny Jensen to hit here. This one high. There's a fly ball, and that's going to split the outfielders. Kirk will score. It's 8 to 2. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 8 2. And in its second with an RBI double. So the lineup flips over. And next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. The pitch. They say it went. Jansen at second with two down. In the dirt. Right-hander kicks deals. Got him. Third out. All right, bottom of the third. Blue Jays put up five in that inning. It's eight to two. Not once, but twice. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's Yon Gomes. Gomes to the plate to lead off in the bottom of the third for the Cubs. And having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping left field. And that is gone. It's eight to three. As my left fielder goes through the wall. Everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball. Nico Horner to the plate. And just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one away. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Got him, Got him looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher. All right, one one is Madrigal. Very well, but for some reason, he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up to Chapman, and we go to the fourth first inning. First it's eight to three. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now eight three.
back here at the ballpark. Start of the fourth, stepping in, Kevin Biggio. Right side. Hayes settles under it. And Hayes will make the catch one away. Makes the grab one down. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And Guerrero walks. The outside edge, and that is ball four. Three balls, two strikes to count. Springer in the left, left center. They fired it quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. All right, two on, one out. Two, two down. And down on ah, strike. that was a bad swing. Two out. away. And there's two away. And now it's Joey Gallo. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. That is foul. Stays alive. Three and two now. Swing and that ball smashed. Smashed to right but caught. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. And that'll do it. Here at Wrigley Field, and now it's the switch hitter. Carlos Santana Santana. leads off the bottom of the fourth inning. Downstairs. To the right. Ground ball. Biggio has it. One down. First, one out in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And Mountcastle will walk. Couldn't come up with it. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough of bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Absolutely. Schwindel. If they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Mountcastle leads off first with one away. Base hit for Schwindel. Right, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Two on with one out. Now here is Jesus Sanchez. Got him. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two away now. And next for the Cubs, Austin Hayes. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And now one and two. They can get through this one. Put up a zero. This will help. Got him. We go to the fifth inning. Eight three Blue Jays. We go to the top of the fifth. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. The wind of the pitch. Turned on, but foul. foul. Wide of third. And a pitch. And down on strike. Strike three looking. One down. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And that's ball. And Kirk walks, although and you get that was clearly a strike. It's a walk, And here's the catcher, Danny Jansen. The pitch. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul, foul ball. Kurt over at first with one away. Popped it up. Magical. On the move. Two away. No! Magical drops it. Beats the second. Out but they're going to get Kirk out at second because he is slow as molasses. Bo Bichette to the plate. And the right hater deals. Base hit for Bichette. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Vigio is up. So first and second with two outs. 
Down to the second. And we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Back here at the friendly confines. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. And Gomes will walk to start the bottom of the fifth inning. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And Horner to right. That is going to be caught. What a way. Michael Brantley stands in. No left fielder. Next offering is foul back. And he chases that one. And there are two down. Here's Nick Madrigal. Okay. And the righty deals. The Strike two. Madrigal. Space Swing. hit. The bill. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Digging in, Carlos Santana. Grounded out his first time. And Santana pops it up. Makes the All right, we go to the six. We'll end the inning. Cup strand a couple. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Next pitch is popped. Guerrero pops it up, one down. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. The center One down, base is empty. Springer in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And Springer's going to pop it up two Bad down. Territory for the catcher. Gomes makes the play, and there's two down. Here's Lourdes Guriel Jr. Sound ball, the third. That and Guriel is out. Three up, three down. We go to the bottom of the six. Number six. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here is Ryan Mountcastle. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. All right. So up next, Brent Schwindel, two for two in this game. Next one misses, and it's two and two. In the air, right and no, nice diving catch by Gallo, two down. Now that. So a great Look at that. That was a great catch by Gallo to Rob Schwindel the hit. And Sanchez. Oh, that's a called strike. Got him. And we go to the seventh inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. All right, Daniel Norris is the game now for the Cubs. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Back here at Wrigley Field, top of inning number seven. Here's Joey Gallo. This popped it up. Magical. Under this one. One down. He makes the grab. Now there's one away. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. One for three. Here's a one one. Chapman gets a piece there. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. And now the lefty. And now he moves his feet. All right. Out to Ground ball. Corner picks it up. 
Two away. So digging in, Alejandro Kirk. Two outs. And fouled off. Ripped. And it is ripped. It is a gap for extra bases. Round first, digging for two. And he's got his second double of the game. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. And now here is Danny Jansen. Base it. Reach, but it gets by him. And that's going to bring home Alejandro Kirk. It's 9-3 on an RBI single for Jansen. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Well, Bichette gets a chance to hit it. And we go to the Good bottom of the seventh. Damage control right. Back here at the ballpark. To the batter now, Austin Hayes. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses. And a full count now. The punch out. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Yad Gomes waits. And there's the strike. Come on and miss. Struck him out. Two down. So the batting order turns over. Nico Horner, the next cup to hit. Fly ball. Left, left field, Three. that's going to be caught, and we go to the, and we go to the eighth. And that Bowden well, Francis that. warming up the in the bullpen. Now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. Left hand batter waits. Yeah, oh, that should have been a walk for Biggio, but it's called a strike. Full count. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And here it comes. In the air, out to center. Fly ball, one way. Underneath it, and out number one on the grab. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Vladimir Guerrero. Popped up, corner, drifts towards it, puts the squeeze Two down. In. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, George Springer. Two down, nobody on. And that one in the air, center field, Sanchez. Gets under it, he's got it. And we go to the bottom of the eight. Down in order. On to the bottom of the eighth, Michael Brantley to start things off. Samant Taylor comes on defensively. All right, now. Taylor is going to come into play second, second base, and Bowden Francis will come here, into the game here Francis. for Toronto. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. 1-1 one, one now. And there's a base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. I could watch base hits like And Madrigal the base hit. So could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. Not in time. He's safe. 
Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Got him. And down on strikes. One out. Ryan Mountcastle, the next cup to hit. And Mountcastle will walk. Let him load up the bases. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some Up some Schwindel. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Brantley on third. Magical. At second, Mountcastle. Ground ball. And they'll get the out at the plate, but Schwindel is safe at first two down. And the batter now, Jesus Sanchez. That one foul off, two and two. Two outs, bases are full. Line drive. Base it in the left. One run is in. All right, that's going to bring home two. Not in time, he's safe. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Austin Hayes, the next cup to hit. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Here's a rocket out to left. Rocket out to left and caught. We go to the ninth. Through eight full. Jays nine and the Cubs five. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs. Richard, Richard Rodriguez yes. coming in now for the Cubs. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Richard. And now Lourdes Goriel Jr. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Brantley drifts towards it. Makes the catch. And there's one away. down on strikes. That's the second out. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. A wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Wide throw. Oh, wide throw. Chapman is safe. Still alive. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. And he deals. That one lifted to left. Inning over. We go to the bottom of the ninth. And puts the squeeze on that. And that'll do it. And two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Jays nine and the Cubs five. Out to short. Bichette over to pick it up. Fires across the diamond. And Gomes is retired. Now back to the top of the lineup. Here's Nico Horner. Popped up, grabs it on the run, and there's two away. Michael Brantley, the next cup to hit, and he's already singled in this game. Out towards left center. And that is going to be caught, and that's the ball game. 9-5 win for the Blue Jays. Nice. All right, I'll end the episode. We'll see you in the next one.